Today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the brand new LEGO Super Heroes Mighty Micros. This is set 76071, Spider-Man vs. Scorpion. Spider-Man gets his own corresponding vehicle, along with the Scorpion gets his own tail attack vehicle, which actually that tail is part of the mini Mike, Mighty Micro a figure that comes included in this set. This set is only 79 pieces, and if you were to pick these up for yourself, I found these at Toys R Us, and I think they were about nine, about $10 a piece, so they're fairly affordable. And the benefit of these, while maybe the vehicles aren't super impressive, I do like the mini micros or the mighty micro mini figures. Just in case you want to see what one looks like, there's a one actual size on the side of the box. Of course, I'll show you it when we get it out of the box as well. The back shows you the two mighty micros in action, along with other releases for Marvels. There's the Iron Man and Thanos, and there's also the Wolverine and Magneto. Very, very cool looking mini sets. I want to get my hands on those. Of course, as well, if you've been watching this channel, you'll know as well that there are DC releases as well, being the Bizarro, there was the Doomsday set with Wonder Woman, and then there was another one. Oh, of course, the Batman and the Killer Moth. To check out more from the folks over at LEGO, more importantly, Marvel Super Heroes LEGO, head over to www.lego.com forward slash Marvel Super Heroes. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up and get these built. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Mighty Micros set 76071, the Spider-Man vs. Scorpion. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Don't. Stay here. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Need assistance when it comes to assembly of the Mighty Micros as well as their corresponding vehicles? Fear not. That's okay, the folks over at LEGO include not only the instruction guide for Spider-Man, but also the instruction guide for Scorpion and their corresponding vehicles. I like the fact that the instructions are uh, dedicated to each of their own figures. That way, you know, if you're only wanting to build the Scorpion, you can use the instruction guide provided. So make sure you hold on to these as well. If you do ever dismantle these and want to put them back together, these instruction guides will come very, very handy. I'll put that to the side. All right, so let's have a look at the first Mighty Micro. Let's start with Spider-Man, and then we'll work our way to uh, to Scorpion, because we don't get really a lot of Scorpion uh, minifigures. Okay, so here we have Spider-Man. He comes with one accessory, that being a spider. Whoops, try not to drop it also in the process. It looks like it wants to be like a black, maybe like a Black Widow spider, or maybe it's a spider tracker, more so, more importantly. Nothing really in the way of uh, additional paint. It's just a primary black. But it can be attached onto Spider-Man's hand. Or I guess if there's just not really a section on the vehicle where you could attach it. So that's as good as you're going to get for the time being. As for the Mighty Micro of Spider-Man, I really like the look of it. And I do really like overall the looks of the Mighty Micros. Because you get this zany expression on a lot of the characters. So instead of just giving him a default open eye on both, you can see that one eye is slightly squinted as if somebody squirted a lemon in his eye. And then the other one is a little bit more, uh, more open. There is printing also on the back of Spider-Man, which is a nice touch. Now with the Mighty Micros, you get all the same articulation that you would normally get on a minifigure, full arms and hands. Uh, but you don't get the legs. That's the one thing that it forfeits by having these the smaller size. The legs are fixed. However, you could easily take the legs off, like so, and replace it with a regular minifigure leg if you want the poseable legs on Spider-Man and also if you want them a little bit taller. Uh, in regards to his vehicle, Spider-Man comes with what I can only describe as the Spider Buggy, one of his older vehicles, the Spider Buggy. Looks really nice in the red, the blue, and the nice stark yellow tires. Much like some of the other Mighty Micro releases, the tires on the back seem larger. They are larger than the ones on the front. They're a little bit smaller. And you can take Spider-Man, slide him right down in there, plug him into place, and he's good to go. Kind of just looks like a little go-kart for the web crawler. Like also the big engine thrusters, big engine tailpipes that he's got on the back there. Yeah, a fun little vehicle. On the flip end of it, the other figure that you get 
mighty micro figure that you get in this set is Scorpion. And this seems to be an ongoing pattern with the Mighty Micro releases. You get maybe a figure that you get a lot of, like the Spider-Man, but then you get a figure that you don't get that often. And when you do, that's pretty special. In this case, you get yourself Scorpion. He does come also with a smaller Scorpion. Same, kind of the same idea as the spider that came with Spider-Man. He comes with a little Scorpion here. Uh, one thing I do like about the Scorpion is that he does have a tail appliance that adds to the back of the figure just to give him the appropriate size and more importantly the tail that one would come to expect with this being Scorpion. The face is also nice like the Spider-Man. One slightly closed eye to the other. It looks like he's also got a bit of a sneer going on to the side as well. Really like the coloring on him. The, the greens, the lighter greens and of course the very sharp, not in this case sharp, but in real life I would imagine it'd be sharp, a uh, little spike on the end of his tail. Now get a load of his vehicle. His vehicle's pretty neat. It's this scorpion claw style of vehicle. Primarily this the same sort of greens as his body. As you can see, the lighter green and the dark green carry over here to vehicle form as well. Uh, the front has some claws that are posable. You can hinge the fronts as well as the arms themselves. You get a little bit of posability options going on there. And there's the steering wheel. Two big tires on either side, rather than the small and the large. No, uh, chameleon actually, uh, chameleon scorpion actually gets his two broad tires on both sides. Now the back looks unfinished. It doesn't look like there's a lot going on on the back because they actually make use of, of scorpion's tail as basically the back of the vehicle. As soon as you plug him in the back, you instantly got the tail at the back of the vehicle too, which finishes off that look of a scorpion vehicle. It's a really a nice touch. Rolls well too on both of the vehicles as well. Fairly affordable and that's one of the benefits of these these little guys too. These these figures as already mentioned are roughly about 10 to 13 dollars. Generally they're more closer to the 10 dollar price point if you find them at like Toys R Us and Walmart. I think ultimately I think I, I bought this set for $9.99. Don't quote me on that but I feel like I got these for like $9.99. Really affordable you get, yes, two small vehicles. They're not the most substantial of vehicles, but the mini figures, in this case, the mighty micro figures, are really what is the draw to these sets. Especially when you get the likes of, uh, of Thanos, if we're thinking of still in the Marvel vein. A Scorpion, we don't get very many Scorpions. I'm trying to think of the other Marvel one. The other Marvel one, oh, was the Wolverine and Magneto, too. The expression is what sells me. The fact that you get the very unique mini figures in these sets also sells me. Overall, I really do like these, as you can probably see by the number of times I pick these up. Today's Toy Spot, though, we were having a look at the brand new LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Mighty Micros. This was set 76071. This was the Mighty Micros Spider-Man versus Scorpion. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.